Here he comes. Mihai's looking worse. Thank God he has his granddaughters here to help him out. They're sisters, 15 and 10. Engaging the enemy in combat so we could use his physiological data to improve the drones had always taken a toll on Mihai's body. But today, he was really showing his age. The drones we based on his data were being taken down at a faster rate now compared to when the war began. When Mihai found that out, he insisted on flying to the front lines to see it for himself. Sometimes he could be so stubborn. His age wasn't the only thing affecting his health. Over the years, flying at high altitudes for prolonged stretches of time had ravaged and poisoned his body. But he was a man of grit. Today, after 28 years, he saw combat again. If his flight suit still wasn't good enough to protect him, I can't imagine how many Gs he hit today during the battle. As a pilot, he exceeds all our expectations. It's going to take a bit more tweaking before our drones can match his skill. How penal is this penal unit, you ask? This place is a shithole. If you took the stink of all the corruption in the world, then corralled it all in one place, that would give you a pretty good idea of what the air smells like around here. We got all kinds of critters, too. Everything from flea-ridden guards, rabid dogs, and a mechanic doing a stretch for life. I can't forget the rats. Yeah, we got those. And some pilots who got their wings clipped, too. One's a great pilot, but a lousy thief. One's a gambler with no luck. And one's an anarchist with no balls. Their job here was to rev the engines on the fake runways. The idea was for a Rouge's spy satellite to pick up the heat sig. Even though there weren't any real fighters here, it looked like it on their infrared. I bet you're wondering, if Arugia lost the war, how come they still have a spy satellite? Because someone over there was smart enough to train a bunch of computer nerds to hack into half of Osea's satellites. That's how come. Every now and again, I'd try to bust out. And every single time, those damn dogs would drag me right back. When I was in my cell, I'd hear this voice coming from the guards' room. It was the Erusian princess rallying her people on the Erusian national broadcast. All us prisoners had become big fans of hers. You want to hear something funny? The guards were big fans, too. I swear to God, every time she was on the air, they'd turn up the volume on the radio and sit there listening. I could see how someone like her could win the hearts and minds of soldiers and workers alike. When the princess said something, you could tell she meant every word. Lately, she'd been having more fun with her speeches, and that made her seem even more charming. You could say her charm was like a virus. Whenever she'd point out stuff that was wrong with Osea, the prisoners in here went nuts. Hell, if anyone knew how messed up Osea was, it was the prisoners. They'd shout, burn Osea down. No way am I just gonna sit here and rot away in this hellhole. Dark blue. Instead of building fake-ass planes to trick Arugia, I'm gonna build one that'll really take off. You can count on that. As proved by the failure of our previous strategy, the Arsenal Birds have bolstered the enemy's anti-air network. This will be difficult to overcome. However, we still need to get swiftly to the space elevator no matter what it takes. Someone there is counting on us. The hero of the Circumpacific War and the man who spearheaded the construction of the space elevator. Osea's former president, Mr. Harling. Mr. Harling was inspecting the elevator when the war broke out. He's been classified as missing since the elevator was taken over by the Erusian forces. 
However, according to the latest intel, a military officer accompanying Mr. Harling hid him inside the facility. Both are waiting for a chance to escape. Enemy anti-air radar network has been set up around the space elevator. It's likely a large squadron would be detected. We will send a single aircraft through the network and send in a rescue team soon after. A number of anti-air radars have been set up around the space elevator. However, our reconnaissance suggests their network is weakest along the southeastern coast of Selatapura. So we can elude the enemy's observation. There are a lot of rain clouds this time of year. Flying through the clouds will enable us to stay hidden from their radar. If you happen to be detected by their radar, we will be forced to abort the mission. The lone pilot who will head up this strategy is you, Trigger. After you bust through, secure the rescue craft's landing zone by taking out the anti-air weapons. Gollum and others will arrive shortly for support. Provide escort for Mr. Harling's craft after rendezvous. Good luck out there, everyone. Aircraft preparations complete. Sortie ASAP. Entering operation area. Imposing radio silence. We'll radio you, but you are not permitted to make contact. If you're spotted, the mission is over. Stay out of enemy radar. Use of weaponry is also strictly forbidden. Okay, you're heading up the Harling rescue mission. The success of this mission depends on you. Good luck. Trigger. 
You're a third of the way to the rendezvous point. Good job, but stay focused. You're three-fourths of the way. Been a long fight, but you're nearly home. We've been spotted. Abort mission. Sea Goblin and back. Evacuate now. Enemy fighter presence confirmed. Requesting response. If you're spotted, the mission is over. Stay out of enemy radar. Use of weaponry is also strictly forbidden. Okay, you're heading up the Harling rescue mission. The success of this mission depends on you. Good luck. Trigger, you're a third of the way to the rendezvous point. Good job, but stay focused. Are we under attack? No change. You're three-fourths of the way. Been a long fight, but you're nearly home. Harling is still the president in my eyes. He ended the war, built the space elevator, and launched a spaceship from it. Despite his success, he remained a humble hero. I'll do my best to save him. Lend me a hand, Trigger. Rendezvous point dead ahead. Hang in there. <laughs> Trigger, the first stage of the mission is clear. Don't celebrate yet. The real fight's about to get started. Radio silence is now lifted. The auxiliary craft will be arriving shortly. Destroy the anti-air around the space elevator. We're securing Sea Goblin's landing zone. Missile. 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 Target down. Nicely done. Missile. 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 Trigger. Missile. Sorry about the wait. Missile. Cavalry's here. Missile. Column squadron. Missile. Trigger jump through the fire. Missile. Now it's our turn. Understood. Gargoyle squadron, stay focused. You all know your job. All aircraft, eliminate the enemy before they can respond. Sea Goblin will arrive shortly. Eliminate hostile anti-air before then. Mage 2, target destroyed. Still in progress. Stand by. Hostile has a lock. Mage 2. Rescue team can't land until anti-air weapons are down. Destroy them. Missile. 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 Half of the SAM sites are Missile. down. Missile. 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 Direct hit. Target destroyed. Enemy's got a lock. Mage 
engaged. Time target down. Missile. down. There are still AA guns. Destroy them and secure the LZ. Target down. Got it. Anti-air guns destroyed. The landing zone is secure. Sea Goblin, you are clear to land. Roger. Rendezvous point in sight. We're almost there. Multiple bandits over Selatapura Harbor. Their container launched UAVs. Sea Goblin, here we're going up to meet our two VIPs. Rescue craft tagged on. Rescue craft on the ground is defenseless. Gollum and Mage, destroy all hostiles. <sighs> it's been a long journey, but you're on the home stretch. Gargoyle will stand by near the space elevator. This is Sea Goblin. Heading over to the Express's location now. Run for the container! Missile. Missile inbound! Missile inbound! You're being locked onto. Something out. Missile, 
and eliminate all enemy UAVs. Don't let up. We found an Arusian transport craft. His engines are on. I heard you were in the Air Force, Colonel. Can you fly? Better than Mr. Horlick. I'm spiked. It'll do. UAVs flying toward the space elevator. Mage, column to get the way. Evading. That's about half. Mop up the rest. All squadrons be advised. Missile. The call sign is Mother Goose 1. I've sent the information via the data link. Mother Goose 1? That's the best you can come up with? South. Provide support. Five minutes remaining. Skykeeper, bogey's on my radar. Bearing 220. Sighting confirmed as MQ-101. Forerunner for Arsenal Bird. The big bird is coming, huh? Mage, protect Mother Goose 1. Shoot down any UAVs. Gollum, intercept the UAVs. Gollum 1 will kill. That last battle taught me a lot about those a-holes. Gollum 2, don't stray off on me. Always maintain element. Wilco, forming up! Bandit has a lock on me. Acquired lock on Bandit, firing! Roger, let's fight! The transport. Orders are coming firing Bandit under six. Yes, sir. He's an old timer. Has no clue how you ain't behind the enemy. Mother Goose 1, UAV on your tail. Take evasive action. I hear you, but this isn't exactly a fighter. Understood. An arsenal bird is on its way. Strategic AI chose liberty over justice. Courses have already changed. Frequency. Mother Goose 1 here. We're 
able to leave the airspace. Keep your fingers crossed. Gargoyle, it's time. Attention, Gargoyle Squadron, Babel, Babel, Three Babel. minutes remaining. Gargoyle 3 to Babel. Babel, roger. One has been shot down. Where'd the missile come from? Mage 2 fired that. It was Ocean. A friendly missile hit him. I'm verifying the situation. Stop speculating. Friendly fire. I saw it. Mother Goose 1 exploded in air. No one could have survived. Looks like it tried to protect the elevator. Erosian bastards, they just killed a hero. Mage 1, was it Trigger? <sighs> Trigger was the closest. UAVs were crawling all over our objective. I told you to keep a goddamn eye on the hatchling. It must have been a mistake. Arsenal Bird is entering. All aircraft withdraw immediately. Trigger, you can't fly for a while. You understand why. The operation to rescue former President Harling has failed. Se Trigger, there will most probably be a court-martial. Bad news for us here at the prison. The enemy fell for our decoy base. With all the fake planes and trucks we had out, it must have looked to them like the Ocean Air Force was about to go on the attack. 
Day after day after day after day they bombed us. Osia didn't give a damn. We weren't soldiers to them, so go ahead. Bomb us. In their eyes, we were expendable. Worth less than the fake planes in the bunkers. No biggie. While I made fake planes, they had me put together some working ones. Then, some genius at HQ decided we should send it up, so the base looked legit. Thankfully, we had people to crew them. It didn't matter what we were locked up here for anymore. Top brass needed pilots, and criminals were all they had. A crook, a gambler, an anarchist. Just your typical lowlifes. They threw each one of them in a cockpit and sent them up to intercept the enemy's planes. But in the end, it was all just for show. So, up they went, day after day after day. Today they tossed someone new into the mix. Wonder what he did to get sent here. My dad died flying for the Ocean Air Force. When your allies are surrounded, one of the most dangerous missions is giving them cover to retreat. Whoever signed up for that was a real hero. But even more dangerous than that was being the one who had to cover the rear guard's retreat. That was my dad's job. And one time, he called it off. Said it was too late for him. Said anyone else would have done the same. I found that out from a war buddy of his when he came to tell me how my dad died. The next time a retreat happened, my dad volunteered to be in the rear guard. Dumbass. He died all right. No one came to help. The news nearly broke me. Of all the ways to get killed, that's gotta be the most pathetic one ever. Am I right? There's a rumor going around about another inmate, a guy they brought here a little while ago. Get this, talk in the cell block says he was sent here because he killed Harling, the president of Osea during the last war, remember? He's the one that sent my dad on that suicide mission. He's the reason I had to go live with my grandpa and why me and Gramps started building a supersonic jet. He's the reason I ended up here. Maybe I should give that guy a thank you note for killing him. Nah. God, I hate the smell of this place. It's all fake and lies and bullshit. It reeks. All right, guys, I'll let you in on some juicy info. The new guy was found guilty by the International Union Peacekeeping Forces court-martial. He is the murderer of Harling in the flesh. His tack name's Trigger. Now, as of today, he may be attached to the Ocean Air Force Base 444th Squadron. But that is just some symbolic bullshit. It doesn't really matter if he's Harling's murderer or not. Every last one of you has been incarcerated for one reason or another. You cons have an obligation to atone for your crimes. A few of you in the penal unit know how to fly, and HQ needs to plug the deficit in our Air Force. So they proposed sending you guys on a reconnaissance mission to the Waipolo Mountains. But that idea was flat out rejected. Nope, you'll be atoning for your crimes right here at this base. This base is a decoy designed to draw enemy fire. And as members of this base, you'll be taking hits from the enemy. This will allow our forces to safely prepare a counterattack. Incoming! Switch off that alarm. It's just the usual. I thought Zapland was supposed to be an isolated area. Okay. I'm gonna need a few aircraft to scramble. Again? Wonder how many we'll lose today. Uh, better than solitary. How many? Enemy aircraft detected over the dummy runway. We just need to make it look like we can put up a fight. Some of those piles of junk can at least take off. Let's get the guiltiest cons in the sky first. We'll start with Harling's murderer. We don't expect you to down any bombers. But what we do want is to make them think that we've got an active base here.
It's time to get busy, convicts. Proceed with your mission now. Follow orders, Trigger. Taxi to the runway now. Check your altimeter and wait in front of the runway. Control, would you kindly send me up first? Spare eight. Champ, this is the control tower. You're not cleared for takeoff. Obey orders. Go to hell. All aircraft preparing for takeoff. Watch out for spare eight. He's forcing a takeoff. I'll take up command. Any objections? That'll get decided in the skies. <laughs> Too shit. Trigger your call sign to spare 15. Consider it your prisoner number for the air. Commencing deception and interception. Spare 15, the runway's free. You have permission to take off. Go now. Woohoo! My blood's boiling! Toss the chump in solitary once he gets back. Spare 8 when you land your ass's grass. Spare 15, take off confirmed. Altitude restriction lifted. Go. So, no missiles again. The FCS is locked. Damn. You're good. Let's make this more interesting. Prisoners use nothing without supervision. Not even a pencil. <laughs> Here comes Harling's murderer. He shot two missiles right between old Harling's eyes. Ah, always a no, aren't you? <laughs> In this war, intel is a life or death matter. Settle down. Excited to have another murderer with you? Yeah! This is Bandog. Spare 15, I'm handling surveillance. The bombers that attacked the runway are coming back for another round. I know it's just a dummy runway. You guys just need to make a lot of noise. Make them think there's fighters at the base. Anyone got a smoke? I'll owe you one. If any of you die, just think of it as you atoning for your crimes. Much appreciated. <laughs> one more thing. Any aircraft leaving the operation area will be shot down. You hear me? Right out. You don't get it, Spare 15. Your fire control systems are locked. This pisses me off more than it scares me. Look at them. Blowing up a bunch of paper planes. The enemy seems to think our Air Force is concentrated on this base. Everything on the ground is fake. Can't the enemy see that? <laughs> They're that convincing. Shit! The enemy just hit the control tower! Hey, what's with all the shaking? There's smoke! <laughs> Send in the fire, please. Not let the enemy get closer. Are you trying to kill me? Morning. Shall I order them to shoot down all? Commander. Commander McKinsey? Damn it! Spare Squadron, listen up. Shoot down everything carrying bombs. Weapons free. You're cleared to engage. Show no mercy. I right don't done by now. You have to rethink the odds. Want to bet which one of us gets the first kill trigger? Tell us everything starts. This is the first kill. It counts going forward. I decide when you die. All right, I'm assuming command. All aircraft support me. Who's going to dance to your lying tune? I'll show you all how it's done. High roller, watch your tail! Spare 15, bandit splash. Trigger, keep an eye on your head count. We can compare later. Yeah, I'm bidding that before we get to stuff real pretty. That's all warning. and look up. Head to the next target. Enemy on your rear. Allow me to educate you. In this unit, you get your tail marked with scratches. Locked too. The more scratches, the more heinous the crime. They're called sin lines. You have three scratches, right, Trigger? Well, you are Harling's murderer. Enemy got away. Spare 
six. Fox two. Oh yeah, add this one to my score. survival. <laughs> Some guys have got big money riding on you going down, so watch your back. Spare seven, shut up. You don't need to yap to pull the trigger. Approaching target, bring the bomb Hell yeah! 
Targets confirmed eliminated. Yeah! Hell yeah! Still alive, Harling's murderer? Then dinner's on me tonight. Cut the chatter, Spare Squadron. Mission complete. RTB. Trigger's still with us. Must have the devil in his corner. Spare Seven, what happens if the one you've bet on dies while landing? <laughs> then you win. So what? You're not done? Just checking. Spare 15, this is the control tower. Make your landing check. We don't want a wreck blocking the runway. Spare 15, you have permission to land. Wind conditions are calm. 3,000 meters. Too fast. Lower your airspeed. Bank left. 1,500 meters. Lower your nose. You're too high. Heading is good. Stay on course. At least you're down. Careful with the aircraft next time. I lost a lot of money for that trigger. Don't forget. Spare 15, the runway's free. You have permission to take off. Did I say you could take down the enemy? Throw anyone who disobeys into solitary. 